function f is given by f of n equals negative 2 log base 3 of n. And the function g is given by g of n equals 3 to the nth. If the function h is given by f of g of n, which of the following expressions for h of n, <laughs> which of the following is an expression for h of n for n of 0? So I prefer, n is greater than 0, I prefer to write this out as f of g of n. Okay, that's how I like to do it. And if you're like, no, I prefer the fog looking thing. Well, then good for you. What you do with this is you start out with f and f is negative two log base three of n. You write out all of f and leave a nice big blank space for where n is like so. You replace that n with whatever g of n is and g of n is three to the nth power. Now there's two ways that you can look at this. And I'm going to do both because why not? Way number one, and let me rewrite it out. Way number one that you can look at this is you could say, oh, wait a minute. Log base three of three to the n allows the log base three and the three to cancel each other out and drops the n down. So we have negative two n. That's one way of looking at it. Check. Another way of looking at it is you could say, I can bring that negative two up here. And so I have log base three of 3 to the n to the second power, negative second power. Multiply these two, and that gives you log base 3 of 3 to the negative 2n. Just like we had over here, log base 3 of 3 cancels out, and you're left with negative 2n. Either way, you get negative 2n. Which method is easier? I don't know. But we did it in two different ways, and that's very important in, in, in math land. Pre-calculus math land. They want you to look at things in like four different ways. And I did two of them. So there you have it. Hope this helps.